Hello and welcome to the Web Certain Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Diana Damakis and here are today's top stories. Facebook is reportedly trying to enter China, Baidu is hit by magical controversy again, and Turkey's mobile marketing industry is being held back. It has been reported by the New York Times that Facebook has attempted to access the highly censored Chinese online market. Currently, the site cannot be accessed by Chinese consumers, but some employees of the company have been quoted as saying that Facebook is working to accommodate the country's censorship demands. The social network has not been legally available in the country since 2009, but is accessed by some Chinese users using specially designed software. Anonymous employees who helped with the report also claimed that Mark Zuckerberg said of the project that Facebook was enabling conversation even if it's not yet the full conversation. The social network has refused to either confirm or deny either claim, but Zuckerberg has recently been seen in the company of China's President Xi Jinping. Baidu has come under fire yet again following its reintroduction of some medical advertising. 2016 has brought much controversy to the search engine after the death of student Wei Zexi, who used unproven cancer medication advertised on the site. Following the uproar, Baidu was urged by health authorities to remove all dubious medical advertising, which led to the company lowering the Q2 earnings outlook by 2 billion yuan. However, searches on the site for plastic surgery now bring up hospitals from the same Putin network as the one from which Zaxi received his treatment. Now with a bad reputation, the introduction of these hospitals has raised eyebrows across the country. Baidu has defended the move, however, saying that the hospital has all relevant certificates and licenses. A new study in Turkey has revealed an issue with the potential expansion of the country's mobile marketing growth. It was found that whilst Turkey has produced award-winning mobile campaigns, it will be limited in its success by the small proportion of marketing budgets being allocated to the industry. The study by Walk and the MMA showed that 40% of marketing and advertising professionals believe that budgets would grow by up to one quarter in the next 12 months. However, mobile budgets currently only make up 10% of all marketing budgets, with 30% of those questioned saying that this was a primary reason that the Turkish industry was being held back. With the highest level of mobile growth in the Asia-Pacific region, Indonesia is expected to lead the region by 2020. A new study by Jack Pat has now revealed that 68% of mobile users in the country between 15 and 45 years of age notice ads most when checking news stories, with 59% seeing the ads whilst watching videos. The channel within which users were least likely to notice an ad was when listening to music. It was also found that half of users had interacted with a mobile ad, although 80% said they had done so accidentally. However, another study by DI Marketing saw that 38% of those that cared about ads within messaging apps in particular had clicked on between one and two adverts a day. And finally, Microsoft has offered rival companies access to its Outlook programs in order to ease any potential conflict with the EU's antitrust regulators. Following Microsoft's 26 billion US dollar acquisition of LinkedIn, the EU has been examining the deal in order to check against any misuse of large amounts of user data crossing between companies. The idea behind allowing rival companies such as the German professional social network Zing to use Outlook is that the move might prevent any developing tensions between Microsoft and the EU. This comes at a time where the regulator has recently been tough on large companies who have access to large amounts of data, such as Google, who is currently fighting against a recent EU ruling. Thanks for joining us and be sure to check out our Catch-Up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professional news, how-to videos and more. See you next time.